guys. So today I am making French onion soup with a super simple recipe. I'm really excited to make this. I've never made French onion soup before, but I had a lot of leftover onions. I had to buy more too, but um, my husband had suggested making it last night because um, I was like, what can I do with all these onions? So that's what I decided to make. So we are going to make that. Today. So first I'm going to start by chopping the onions. I have two really large onions and then two leftover onions. Um, so these are the really big onions. These are equal to like two or even three of the smaller onions. The recipe calls for four onions, not really large ones. So um, that's why I got two of these and then I have these left over. I'm actually doubling the recipe because it's not going to be a side dish. It's going to be our main dish. So um, let's start chopping. Oh my goodness. So I had to crack a window. As you can see, my eyes are all red and puffy. Tears are just streaming, streaming down my face, like as I'm trying to cut these and my eyes are still burning, but I had to like look away and like, I was just, it was awful, but I have a huge bowl of onions right here. I don't even know if I need this much. Um, that was a lot of onions, so I might um, save some of that and we'll see how much we need because there's only two things of beef stock, so I don't really think we needed four onions. I think they were talking about four like little onions because this is a lot. So we'll see how much we need when we make them. So now it's time to start cooking. So I'm going to get out a pan and we're going to caramelize these onions. So I've got four tablespoons of butter in here and we just need to melt that and then we can put in our onions. And I also am using a big pot instead of a frying pan because it says to just cook right in the stock pot or Dutch oven. So that's what I'm doing. So now we're going to add in the onions and I'm just going to kind of gradually add them in. I don't want to put too, too much because we want enough room to be able to put in broth. So, and they do kind of shrink, I believe, as they cook down, but we're just gonna kind of eyeball it. So I had a full bowl and I added about almost all of the bowl. That's how much. So I need two, about two teaspoons of black ground pepper. I only have a grinder, so I'm just gonna keep grinding until I feel like there's enough in there. Going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder. So now we're just gonna saute for seven to eight minutes until the onions are tender. And they did start to like shrink as they cooked down, so I was able to add the rest of the bowl of onions so there'll probably be like even less room once these are all cooked down but we'll see they're just starting to look really nice and tender and as you can see it's about half full so um yeah i was able to use all of them but just a few more minutes on these and we should be ready to add the broth so I gave it a little bit longer than seven or eight minutes, more like 10, 15 minutes, just to make sure it was all cooked through because some of the pieces were a little bit on the larger side. So now it's time to add the broth. So I have this Nature's Promise Organic Beef Flavored Broth because they were all out of the regular beef broth. They only had one container and I needed two. So I'm adding two 32 ounce containers of this into the pot. So I have both broths in there, which I definitely did need to, and I definitely did need to double this recipe. So now I'm gonna add six tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. 
Then I'm gonna add salt, salt to taste. We're going to now bring it to a simmer, then cover it and let it simmer for 10 minutes. So I've got this large loaf of French bread. I'm gonna cut several slices of this and toast it and then cut it up into like squares. So these are gonna go into the soup before they go into the, like right before they go into the oven. So the bread's all toasted and chopped up and ready to go. So now the soup is finished and we're gonna do the next step. So now we're gonna set the oven to broil. I have mine set. You're gonna take four oven safe bowls. Um, I just chose these. They, they do say dishwasher or microwave safe. I'm not sure if they're oven safe, but we're not putting them in long enough for them to really do any damage. Um, I don't know if I actually have any oven safe ones that say oven safe, but I'm gonna use these four bowls and you're gonna wanna put them on a tray. Um, and I put tin foil down just in case the cheese drips. Um, it doesn't get all over my pan and make it hard to clean. So now I'm going to be spooning the soup into the bowls. I think I'm gonna do it about like halfway and then um, we'll do the next step. So I actually filled them about three quarters of the way, except for Royce's, cause he doesn't eat as much as us. But um, now we're going to put the toasted bread on top. So I'm gonna put probably, let's see, that's six pieces, seven, eight pieces, like eight pieces on top of each. And then Royce, I did five because again, he eats a little less than us and now it's time for the cheese. So I put three slices of Swiss cheese on top of each one and then two on Royce's and it's time to pop it in the oven. So now they're gonna sit in the oven um, until the cheese is melted and like golden brown on the top. So I'm gonna be checking on it periodically just to see um, what the cheese looks like and then it's time to eat. So this is what they look like fresh out of the oven and they smell amazing. And now it's time to taste. So I have my pot holders because this was in the oven, but that's what it looks like. It smells amazing. Um, in my profile picture, I had, or in my thumbnail picture, I had to use these because it was just too hot to pick up the bowl to take a picture with. So, um, yeah. But anyways, let's see. Let's see. Like, look at that. That's a bread piece. And then there's onions in all through it. It smells really good. I'm like, it's so hot. I'm scared to even like <laughs> put it to my mouth at this point. Um, I think I might let it cool off a little bit before I do this part, the taste test part, but, um, yeah, that's got a, a good amount of cheese and onion. So I'm going to just let this bite cool off a little bit out of the bowl and then I'll taste it on camera. <laughs> All right, now let's try it. Mmm. Wow. That is really good. I want to try like a bread piece too, because that looks so good. Mmm. Delicious. Okay. This soup is really, really good. Um, and the recipe was so simple. This was really easy to make. I've never made French onion soup before, and this definitely was very simple. Um, we use this today as a main dish. I have broccoli um, florets, breaded broccoli florets, like cooking in the oven right now as a side to get some vegetables and stuff. Um, 
but you could definitely cook this as like a side dish or like a starting dish um, to just get have like a little crock of French onion soup to go with your meal. But yes, there's many possibilities for this, but this was so easy to make. Um, and I suggest if you're using it as kind of like a side dish, I would um, use the original recipe um, amounts. I doubled it. So I will post in the description box down below if you're interested in making this. I will post the original recipe um, with the original measurements. Um, and if you're making it as like a main dish for a lot of people, then you can double it like I did. But you don't need to really double this if you're just cooking it as a side dish. So, but I will post all the ingredients that, that you need and the amounts. And I will post... Um, the instructions on how to cook it in the description box if you're interested in making this. But that is everything for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.